Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something to do. Just for fun, it's just for kids. Hosting kids that come to you with me come around with you guys. Man. Happy Monday. Happy yeah. Monday. <laughs> All righty, uh, let's start with number six, if that's all right. It's Monday. Maybe it's time to quit your job. job Here's how you can tell it's time to move on. Are you passionate about what you do? If you're not, move on. Is your mental health taking a hit? If it is, move on. Are you filled with, filled with dread on Sundays? Move on. Oh, boy, we're letting like go for three. Are you getting bad vibes from your colleagues? So if you are, move on. If you're not sure, stay put. Take this test. See if uh, things get better. If they don't, move on. Well, it's easier said than done, too. That's the right. case. I mean, it's like a lot really of people. A lot of freedom, yeah, some people you gotta you gotta work. You don't you know you don't or have the. You're yeah. stuck in a contract. Yeah, you yeah. never yeah. know. Work is work. Never know. But sometimes you think things are so much better at, at a channel five. Right. When really you get no, there and you realize. It's everywhere. <laughs> grass is not greener. No. <laughs> that is so true. Yeah. yeah. Stink follows you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number five, if you do like your job and you don't want to quit, job experts say there are two common phrases you should stop using because they make you look weak or insecure. The first phrase, I'm sorry to ask this, but instead say, can you please forward that email to me? Thanks. Hmm. Never apologize. Right, I disagree with the I second agree. one completely. Here's the second one. And when someone asks you a question, never ever say, I don't know. It makes you look incompetent. Instead, no. say, I'll get right back to you. Yeah, Let me tell you something. Nobody is falling for that. Everybody <laughs> no. knows you don't know. That's yeah. right. right. So then, instead of coming across as, God forbid, not knowing everything, you come across as someone who is full of crap. Yeah. yeah. Which is worse. Yeah. Right. Worse. Just be honest. Just I don't admit know the it. Answer. Yeah. Right. I mean, there's a lot Larry doesn't know, and he yeah. just admits it every day, yeah. and I, I yeah. respect yeah. you for that. Thank you. As uh, somebody said, we're all ignorant, just on different topics. That's so, right. Uh, that's Very true. One. Throw that one back in their lap. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> all right, number four, looking for something to challenge your mind? Check out this Rubik's Gridlock. Interesting. So it's more than just the original Rubik's Cube. This new game has 88 new puzzles. The 2D tiling technique works similar <laughs> to the way a jigsaw puzzle does. So you have to arrange the colored tiles in different oh. sizes and colors. It's kind of complicated to explain, and yeah. Rubik's Cubes are too complicated for me, so this um, wouldn't be for me. But you can check it out on your own if you want. Sure. Yeah. Oh. Fun. Yeah. So much fun. <laughs> All right, number three, more solar eclipse talk. This time it's about how animals react during the eclipse. Back in the 1500s, scientists uh, wrote of birds falling from the sky in terror due to the sudden darkness. During the last solar eclipse in 2017, researchers paid careful attention to the birds. Turns out they didn't fall from the sky, but they did quiet down uh, the same way that they do during a storm. But Come later today, NASA wants your help. If you're asking people to, they're asking people to record uh, your own data, analyze audio, or submit your own observa observations, including birds in your area. Check out eclipsesoundscapes.org for more information. Oh. Birds fell from the sky all over. Mm -hmm. I didn't get any video though. No. I was no. too scared. Well, yeah. that's right. You should see something. <laughs> your own observation. Yeah. It's not like it That'll goes work dark out. all of a sudden. It's no, like it's, it's, a a long, it's a long day. But yeah. back in the 1500s, they didn't know what was happening. Yeah, they weren't the smartest back then. All right, right. <laughs> number two, it's time for a blast from the past that was a big deal for Gen Xers, record stores. If you're over 45, chances are you spent your hours at the mall checking out the record store, browsing Sam Goody or Musicland, looking for Prince's Purple Rain album or the new Order cassette tape or the U2 Octung Baby CD. You'd pick up a few of your favorites before heading down to the food court for some Sparrow Pizza and yeah. Orange Julius. Oh, that sounds good right now. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah. Brett, you want to hear more about our memories from high school? <laughs> I was going to ask what a cassette tape is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just it was kidding. I know what a cassette garbage. tape is. <laughs> Number one, we're looking at the most downloaded songs of the 20th century. Number five on the list is from Robin Queen. Oh. Let's go. Walks fairly down the street with the brain pool way down low. Ain't no sound but the sound of speed. Machine guns ready to go. Are you ready? Hey, are you ready for this? Are you hanging the on most the most downloaded song ever? Fifth, 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 fifth oh. of the 20th century. 
it was very different. It was it was like this. I don't it's know. A good song. It, it I did a like great a pom pom routine to this in, oh, in eighth grade. Oh, we were it was, we were bringing it. It's a great walk up song. It's a great pose she's got on with long yeah. pants. Yeah, another one bites the dust. Download it. Pants. Not more it's a good look. More than a billion times. One billion one hundred twenty four million times. You gotta have the right physique. To yeah, you do. Off. Yeah. That's it? Oh, just the best. The fifth one? Yeah. So are we going to do the, we're going to count it? One <laughs> per day. we got to pace ourselves. Yeah. Let's do one per week. That way that'll get us through <laughs> yeah. mid-May. All right, that's yeah. the six and six. Scott!